the second of three bands, the Stacy Jones Band. We're going to provide Stacy with two introductions. Roy will follow me. In 2005, I saw the Stacy Jones Band play at Bumbershoot. Stick Shift Annie was, uh, and Kimball and the Fugitives were on the same bill. This very, very young harmonica player at times sounded like little Walter. And boy, has she grown since 2005 and that day at Bumbershoot. Rory, would you join me in welcoming the Stacey, Jan Stacey Jones Band to the stage? Okay, everybody, the first course is done. Mary McPage is happy. She's sitting in the back somewhere, starting serious drinking games. I would not participate with her. You will not win. But now it's time for the entree. It was several years ago when Rhea Rolfe asked Stacy Jones to come to a meeting and play it. She was a new artist. I'd never heard of her before. But she wasn't a new artist when she left the stage. She absolutely tore the house apart at Highway 99. Now it's several years later. There's new music. There's new band members, but still anchored by a fabulous, fabulous singer. Behind the drum kit is Rick Bowen, who's not satisfied with just playing with one band. The bottom is handled by Tom Jones. Yeah. Jeff Mantier plays a sizzling guitar. They all pitch in in vocals. And the woman who plays the acoustic guitar, plays the keyboards, yeah. plays a fabulous harmonica, and leads the pack. Move over, Susan Tedeschi. Someone else is stepping in. Here comes Stacy Jones. Place where American music was born. Place in the 13th Ward, New Orleans. Place called Congo Square.
dancing, dancing with that